Hi, this is a demonstration of the question paper generator project. This is an uh, advanced project that allows you to create question paper on the go within a matter of seconds as per your selected difficulty using random questions from the database. So this is a system is created to solve the problem of universities uh, that have to uh, you know manually generate question papers then uh, you know manually uh, distribute them in various colleges and there are cases of uh, paper leaks uh, you know due to this system and it is quite inefficient because papers do not reach uh, all the colleges and uni uh, you know and distance uh, uh, these things institutes on time so in order to solve these issues uh, we have this uh, you know automated question paper generator system so this system you know generates a question paper as for selected difficulties by selecting random questions on that difficulty in such a way that you know uh, the answers from uh, answers in the questions cover uh, you know entire syllabus and uh, also the there is no chance of paper leakages since the this question paper will be generated just 15 minutes before the you know paper starts on the day of the examination and the generated question paper uh, in a word format is automatically emailed to the you know registered institutes just before 15 minutes of the paper so there's no chance of paper leakage because the paper is not uh, generated uh, you know a day in uh, in advance and uh, it is emailed just 15 minutes before to uh, only the you know those institutes that are institutes or colleges that are registered and uh, even if the paper gets uh, leaked uh, somehow through you know uh, any st college staff or anyone there's no chance of uh, leakage because it's just it will be leaked just 15 minutes before the examination when everyone is in the exam hall so this is a uh, this is how it's gonna help universities so let's see how this works let's log in into the system this is the admin login so here admin can first add questions into the system this is the question id here he can enter the question and the difficulty of it he can place it whether it is an easy question medium question hard or harder depending uh, then this is the uh, module in which module it should be placed module is the first uh, you know question answer any one of the following write in brief the, those are called modules this is the semester subject and branch and after submitting the question is added into the database so now let's check the create question paper module yeah before that let's see the show questions module in this you can you know if you select a course Let's select uh, the BSIT course, let's select the uh, semester, let's select a subject and let's click on show. So it shows all the questions entered by the admin. This is the list is extensible. You, the user, uh, uh, the admin can add n number of questions in the database. The system operates on it, the, uh, the operates on the questions, uh, you know, in, uh, inserted by the admin. So the more the number of questions the random will be the paper generation and the less the chance of uh, leakage at uh, in this system actually there is no chance of data leakage so let's you know check the main module that is the question paper get question paper first select let's select the branch after that the semester now the subject let's select ns that is network security let's select the difficulty so now let's select the number of modules these are the number of you know the main questions that is answer the following or write in brief about any one of the three those type of questions so these are called modules okay in each module there are a number of questions so we can select that later so let's add four modules and let's add uh, four questions per module or let's add you know okay this is fine four is fine let's add four questions per module
then let's uh, enter the name of the question paper we'll add something like network security this is a network security paper the paper code marks per module per module suppose we have four questions right we will uh, do one thing we will put uh, you know the user can leave one question optional so he, he needs to answer any three out of four so that's the way papers are set here so let's write the marks per module is 15 since he has to you know answer three questions so five question five marks per question so choice will be three oh, sorry choice will be one he can leave one question optional in each in, in one of the fours then uh, let's select the time two hours so now there are two options download let's check the download option first so once we click download you can see that the paper has been downloaded here so according to the data selected here is the network security paper that will time allowed two hours marks 60 then uh, these are the you know this is the way question papers are set so answer the following any three they, this uh, you know the, these questions are the easy type of questions since we selected easy so based on that the uh, randomly questions have been selected then uh, here you can see uh, the questions have been filled answer any three 15 marks and this is how the question paper has been set automatically within a matter of seconds so one more option is here that is email the on clicking email the paper is automatically emailed to re require the registered colleges and institutes so this process needs to be done just before you know just before the paper uh, uh, is set on the date of the paper so there is no chance of uh, paper leakage here this is a totally secure and advanced system for paper distribution no need for manually taking the carrying the papers through uh, you know police vehicles and supplying them on time so this is how automated automated question paper generator project works thank you